We live in a moment of uh, great faith in the notion that the best ideas will somehow spread like wildfire, that a good approach for a marketer or an educator um, is to somehow release an idea into the world and to let it spread virally. And there's something wonderfully appealing uh, and democratic about that notion. Uh, unfortunately, um, there also are important limits and caveats uh, to that idea that we need to take account of. And in a lot of ways, uh, that's what this book is about. Uh, it's a, an offering of um, some remedy and uh, corrective to the uh, oversimplified view that social networks somehow magically uh, disperse and spread uh, information. In a lot of ways, uh, what I do with the book is to uh, recount um, decades of research, uh, research from interpersonal uh, communication scholars, from campaign evaluators, from sociologists, from a wide variety of disciplines, and to pull it together to build an argument um, to suggest that while, in fact, uh, we could expect uh, information to, um, to spread uh, from person to person, that it's not going to happen uniformly. And that's something that uh, we ought to uh, attend to as we think about um, popular conception of, of science and health. Now, as it turns out, um, there are critical implications of this work uh, for the everyday planning of um, public health efforts. And let me point to one example uh, in which a few years ago I had the chance to work with folks at the Minnesota Department of Health. And they had developed a refer-a-friend program uh, to uh, spread information amongst those who had participated in a free mammography program um, to their friends and, and neighbors and family members. As it turned out, um, the information was spread. However, those that were in relatively well-connected communities were more likely to get the information. And that was something that we noted um, and thought was important, um, that uh, there was some reification of disparity even in a refer-a-friend program. A part of the importance of the book is simply just the recognition that spreading ideas in this fashion is hard work and that it's not simply going to happen magically, that we can't expect um, for the viral spread of information to just happen uh, without a tremendous amount of, of investment. And that's something that I think um, is being lost in the current focus on um, social media and social networks that we see everywhere.